So let us see what the fifth question is. So in the fifth question we are saying that P and Q are two non-zero natural numbers uh, together with the condition Q equal to Px P plus 1 and we are given two function fx and gx and we have to find the coordinates where f and g will intersect. So f and g will intersect means at that point uh, fx must be equal to gx. So we have to find the solution of that equation. So let us write the equation. So the equation will be like this. So uh, let us take it as t uh, which we are going to solve. So for the first one if log p base p q power x minus 1 is t then q power x minus 1 equal to p power t and uh, similarly if we do it for the second term which is log base q px plus 1 it is t then p power x plus 1 equal to q power t. So if, uh, if we add these two equations we will get this plus this equal to p power t plus q power t which will give us p power x plus q power x because this 1 and minus 1 cancels up and we are getting this equation p power x plus q power x equal to p power t plus q power t. Now this uh, p and q are uh, non-zero natural numbers and you know that uh, these, these are basically increasing function if you write fx equal to p power x plus q power x so here we are using f so let me write this as f prime so our f prime is uh, p power x plus q, uh, q power x this is an increasing function and uh, clearly uh, these are uh, as you have seen in the lecture these are one one function so it gives us x equal to p because p and q both are natural numbers so this gives us x equal to t so now substituting uh, t in any one of these two equations we will get q power x minus 1 equal to p power x. So we can write it as q by p power x minus 1 by p power x equal to 1. So if we take this 1 by p on the other side and take 1 in this side we will get this. Now we are given that q equal to p plus 1. So q by p power x minus 1 this is an increasing function only this left hand side. So this left hand side is an increasing function. So let me write it here this is an increasing function because q is greater than p. So q is greater than p because we have q equal to p plus 1 and this part 1 by p power x this is a decreasing function so and those two are equal at uh, some for some x now one side is increasing function the other side is a decreasing function so it will intersect at most at one point so whatever the so solution may be it will be only one solution the solution will be unique so if we substitute x equal to 1 in this equation in this equation we will get q by p power 1 minus 1 equal to 1 by p which will gi give us q equal to p plus 1 you can check it you can write it as q by p minus 1 equal to 1 by p which will give us q minus p by p equal to 1 by p which will give us q minus p equal to 1 and q equal to p plus 1 which is true because this is the given condition this is the given condition we have q equal to p plus 1 so x equal to 1 will be a solution of this equation which we have uh, find out and now I have already told that this one side is increasing function and the other side is decreasing function so there will be a unique solution so there cannot be any other solution other than x equal to 1 so our solution of this equation will be x equal to 1 so uh, let us see what we have to find we have to find the coordinate uh, uh, where f and g will intersect 
basically we have to find uh, the value of x and the function f1 so f1 will be log p q power 1 minus 1 so this is f1 hence uh, the coordinate uh, where f and g will intersect will be 1 comma log p q minus 1 this will be the coordinate